what's up everybody? I am Beauty and the Band Geek. I'm already hyper, I've had too much caffeine, and I just got through a long motivation, no talk, speech, whatever you want to call it, with my friend Daisy, who is MXI, I Tara, God, if I butchered their name, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. Anyway, thank you, shout out to them. Welcome to my first video. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know who I am. If not, Welcome, because I'm pretty sure 95% of the people watching is do not know who I am. Oh god, okay. So today, uh, I've been so excited to do this video and I'm already like tripping out myself with me. Ah! Anyway, I'm doing an unboxing slash haul slash try on thing. I don't know what to call it yet, but bear with me everybody. I'm still very new at this. Anyway, so today I got two things in the mail. I have no chill. I had to resist for the last week to, to open these packages. Well, package because of my melt. You'll see in a second. So, two companies that I am unboxing, well, three, are Ronin, Melt Cosmetics, and I'm going to just claim this now. The Jeffree Star stuff was a gift. I personally do not support Jeffree Star. I don't buy his products. I... I do not affiliate myself with the brand Jeffree Star. These were gifted to me by a family member for graduation and Christmas, so I will be opening this as well today because I do like the colors. I know the quality is good, but like I said, I did not buy this with my own money. Everything else, I did. Another disclaimer, nothing was sponsored. I'm not being paid to promote anything. I'm not affiliated. Nobody sent me anything for free. It's all money that came out of my pocket. Alright, let's begin. So, this is the Ronin package that came in yesterday. And I'm going to try to open it with my hands. I have a pair of scissors with me here. Two, just in case I struggle, because I struggle with opening packages a lot. And honestly, y'all, if I feel like... See, I'm already struggling. If I were in some kind of like challenge, Fall Out Boy and Panic at the Disco fans will understand this joke, but I will explain it in a minute. If I was locked in a room with ah, okay, there we go, with Patrick Stump and Young Blood Chronicles, where he basically becomes possessed or something, or Brendan Urie turning into a demon for five minutes. And I had five minutes to open up these dang packages, then I'd probably be dead. <laughs> I would lose so bad. But anyway, let's get to the. She got this package open. Oh! Let's unfold this. Oh, wow. This is already. Whoa! Okay. So, yeah, I got the right size. So, this is the Precious Metals Ronin Short Sleeve t shirt. And it was $35 before, like, tax and shipping and stuff i personally was lucky enough to order this before valentine's day which is today happy valentine's day by the way there was a discount code took off 50 percent so it was like 40 something after everything but yeah little steep in my opinion but i mean so far from what i'm feeling it actually feels like very very nice quality it is a white t-shirt so if you don't like white t-shirts you're not gonna like this there are other things in there's jewelry, there's a long sleeve, and there's a hoodie. This is actually a brand that Pete Wentz from Fall Out Boy put out in October of last year, so I had to wait forever because my income tax came in. Besides the point. So this is the, like I said, Precious Metals short sleeve t-shirt. The front says Ronin, and it has Curious Gems and Talismans, Los Angeles County 2019. That's what it says on the front. The back has this whole, like, lunar design which I actually really really love and it says let's see all true treasures lie within and it says that like in the whole circle thing and yes this is a gigantic shirt honestly the website and Izzy both did say that they are oversized so I went ahead and got myself a large I'm normally in XL but I didn't want it to be so oversized that this thing basically just I didn't want it to be jumbo size that's the bottom thing bottom line so I'll try this on in a second, but let me try to stand actually to see and size it up. Yeah, this thing definitely is very long, very roomy, I guess. I don't know. I'll see in a minute when I try actually try it on. 
But let me get into the other thing that I got, which was from... Let me actually make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope. Okay. So that's the first thing that I got. The second thing is from Melt Cosmetics. Now, I will say I purchased from Melt before. Their price was very kind of steep for me too. I'm not one to like to spend a whole lot of money on a lot of stuff. So with that being said, they do have Sezzle, which basically allows you to pay stuff over the course of like four payments. And I'm going to use my scissors because there's actually tape on this thing and I don't want to hurt myself, so. Bear with me, I'll probably do like a time lapse of this. Okay. So, and actually what I got from them was from the Amor Eterno collection, which is the collection that was put out right after Black Friday, I think? Yeah, I think it was after Black Friday. And so far, got nothing but tissue. More tissue. Whoa. That's, that's my receipt. Yeah, yeah, I got another sticker. And this is a lip. The last time I got, the last thing I had bought from Melt, which was sometime last year, were these, were the She's In Party stacks and the Love Sick stack. Okay. So that's the first thing. <gasps> oh. Okay, so this is the box. It's not the actual palette. This is the box that the palette is actually inside. And bubble wrap. I like playing with bubble wrap. I'm weird like that, y'all. I'm weird. I'm so weird. Making sure there's nothing else in there that I need to fish out. Nope. Okay, it is there. So basically, for those of you who don't know Spanish or maybe are familiar with Spanish, Amor y Teno basically means eternal love. And that's what this whole collection was. I got the two eyeshadow palettes, which together were $160. I know it's a lot. Like I said, I didn't like spending it, but I did use Sezzle, so my first payment was actually $29. And the palettes, well, these are the boxes. I haven't taken out the actual palettes yet. They come together to make this sugar skull. And this brighter orangey one is called the Vida palette, which means life in English, and the darker one is Muerte, which means death. Let's actually have a look see. Ah, I struggle so much with opening stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, same thing as the actual little box. Ooh, it's shiny. It's very shiny. <gasps> y'all, y'all, okay, I'm already in love. So the camera, I'm just gonna say it, like the cameras on Instagram, all the pictures on Instagram do not do this thing justice. These colors, if y'all could see them, are so pretty in person. And they have, ooh, okay, so I actually really like this. I'm Mex I personally am Mexican-American, so this actually makes me very, very excited to see, like, the representation. Granted, Melt is a Mexican-American-owned company. But, you know, just to see, like, a part of my culture being represented in something that I truly, truly love, which is makeup, it's exciting for me. Let's open up the Muerte palette, shall we? Run out. Oh, another quick thing before I forget. Melt eyeshadows are actually very delicate. I personally learned that the hard way because the uh, She's in Party stack actually has a maroon sparkly eyeshadow. I dropped it and it shattered completely. So, something to keep in mind. Alright, and the Muerte palette. Oh my gosh! Okay, very, very similar as far as like the mirrors, but you can definitely tell like the difference. The Muerte palette has more like dark, smoky, rich, cool tones, like the bluer side of things. And the Vida palette has all these like bright orangey, yellowy, it's like two neutral, like, no, three neutrals, my bad. Oop. Three neutrals in the palette. And another thing too, I know I like I look crazy right now because I don't have any bronzer, I don't have any highlight, I don't, I, my face looks fine, I just have like my face and my brows on. But that's because I wanted to truly test these out and wear these. So I already timed my eyelids, I, I did everything I needed to do, is what you need to know. So that's, I'm debating if I want to come on, <gasps> y'all, oh my gosh, I'm discovering this. <laughs> 
So when I first saw these, I never realized that they were, they stick together with magnets. How freaking cool is that? They, ah, cause honestly, this is, there's a reason why I'm actually tripping out about this. I'm flipping out because, okay, focus Naomi, focus. Anyway, so when I first saw these and I saw like how they lined up, I didn't think that there was going to be any kind of way for them to like stick together. I thought you had to just like physically hold them. I mean, you still do like, you have to just physically hold them and like line it up. But the magnets inside the palette actually help line it up very nicely. And I think that is so freaking cool. So thank you, Melt, for taking the time and how you designed this collection. I wish I had the entire collection, but I can afford that too. So, moving on. Then, actually, I'm going to show you how the back. I mean, these flowers, like, these give me hold me tight or don't music video vibes. These are definitely the other was muertos vibes. These are cocoa vibes. This... Maybe I'm flipping out because like the Dia de los Muertos aesthetic as a whole has such a near and dear place to my heart because that was like my first FX thing that I ever did. And it's a very cultural thing for me. So let me, just for that sake of it, look, we look at all, okay, yeah. And a lot of these words that I'm seeing on like the names of the eyeshadows themselves, words I've heard every day in my life. Anyway, so the last thing we're going to unbox, and I did get another gift from the same family member that got me the Jeffree Star stuff, but I don't want to unbox that just yet, or unbox it on camera at least, because I want to focus on the melt eyeshadows. But it's basically this like whole like mini lip set, and it comes with two of his liquid lipsticks in Unicorn Blood and Red Room, and the remaining are lip glosses. I personally do not wear lip glosses that much. I think I will try to dabble into it. But I want to see if I can come up with some kind of look that fits the vibe of the uh, Ronin shirt. Actually, you know what? Shoot. I'm going to pause, put on the shirt so y'all can actually see in real time how this shirt will fit you. Because keep in mind, I did get mine a size smaller than what I normally get. So. so I do now have the Ronin shirt on. It is long on me. It's a little bit snug, so I think what I'm just going to end up doing is, you know, once I... Well, take that back. I think if I just do that whole trick with, like, the knees that helps you, like, stretch it out a little bit, it'll fit me a little bit better. Like I said, I did get a size large. So it fits me like an XL normally would. It's just super long on me. I... Just something that you should keep in mind. So back to our originally scheduled program with the Melt Eyeshadows. And we're back. All right, so I'm gonna zoom y'all in in just a second, but I'm going to go ahead and get started with the actual makeup application. And then I will do not necessarily a style walkthrough, but kind of the two ways that I would personally style the t-shirt because I had a bit of a plan, but I am also on a weight loss journey. So the shirt will probably fit me a little bit better over the next maybe month or so. Let me zoom y'all in. We're gonna zoom. This tells y'all how much I feel. Okay. Oops. That didn't work. Okay, here we are. So, and also before I forget, any like and all products, brushes, and alike will be all listed below. Like I said, I already have my eye primer on, I have my base shadow on so i am going to just dive right in and throw these in black way because i don't need them anymore and yeah let's just get this going so i think i'm going to i'm trying to look and see because i want to go for like that kind of sunset hmm let me think i like both i like the colors in both i have to be like real strategic i think i'm gonna do something that has like a bit of a kind of grungy but wearable type thing because I do plan on using one of the liquid lipsticks from the Jeffree Star line. So I think I'm going to start off with this plastic off ah, from the Vida Muerte, Vida, well, Vida palette, sorry. I'm going to start off with my Morty 
M504 brush. Focus. Ta da! Getting good at this. Anyway, I'm going to go in with the shade Atole, which is this like light brown. Like, I don't want to say it's a chocolate brown. Actually, there is a shade called chocolate or chocolate. Somebody would say. But I am going to go in with the shade Atole first as like my beginning transitional color. So, I'm going to just buff that into my crease and try to show it to y'all as best I can. This isn't going to really be like a talk through tutorial because I really just want to show y'all in real time how this all works. Okay. Ah, I forgot to clip up my bangs because my bangs get in the way of everything. Also, another thing to quick to quickly note before I forget, if you see any sparkles in my hair, forgive me. I'm not that weird little spray, glittery hairspray. I had liquid highlighter in my hand and it got in my hair. That's all you really need to know. So this is actually just like a regular cool tone brown, so it's actually a really nice transitional color for me. I wear a lot of neutrals on a daily basis. I don't really like. I don't know how to explain. But the point being, it's actually very, very. It's blending very easily. I can tell y'all that much. So, that's a good thing to note whenever you're doing this. The next color. I think I'm gonna go into the Muerte palette next. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm trying to like piece. I'm making this up as I go, y'all. So just, just bear with me as best as y'all can. These colors are so, so pretty. Okay. Uh, I, I'm telling y'all, I had no plan whatsoever. I didn't even. I sketch out my makeup sometimes. I didn't even do that. So actually, I'm going to go in with the shade Agua Ari, Aridiente. Ar, no. What am I saying? I'm going to go into the shade Agua Arde Ardiente. I've never heard this in my life. I've heard Agua, I've never heard Ardiente. Besides the point. Anyway, I'm going to go into the, which is like a more greenish kind of mossy brown color with my Morphe M40. And blah, blah, blah. One thing I'm learning about me, I still wish so much. I'm so bad. Y'all, yeah, forgive me. Anyway. Going in with my M441 brush, and if y'all are noticing that my brushes are dirty, I am so sorry. I really need to clean them. Dirty brushes are, I think, are just something that happens. Especially if you're a makeup lover or even a makeup artist, they just happen. And finding time to clean them can be a huge pain in the butt. But just the same, I'm gonna go with that and use that as my next transitional color. should be doing something more colorful, but, you know, I'm trying to keep it in that rule of thumb. Alright, they are blending actually pretty nicely together, but I'm going to still do my little trick where... Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Where I basically just take the previous brush because it has like a mild mild amount of product on it and just go in and blend where the two meet and i'll do that again with the next shadow that i use so just show y'all like this these are actually very pigmented neutrals i've noticed and i don't know if it's because it's difficult to formulate or when neutrals i've noticed tend to be the hardest to like blend maybe that's just me because i haven't thing is don't know how to do anything. Moving on. So, let me see. The next, hmm. I'm looking at these colors and I'm trying to think what I could use. I'm thinking I will use the shade, hmm. yeah, okay. I'm going to use the shade Corazon, which Fun fact means heart in Spanish. I use this shade Corazon, Corazon, Corazon as my next like blending color. 
which is like a pretty vibrant red, but I want to make sure that it blends nicely with the colors that I plan on using next. So I'm going to do that. It's going to act like as the base for our sunset kind of eyes. Yeah, these are definitely blending pretty well. It's giving me like a nice warm brick red color in my crease. So I'm really liking that. Now to turn let's do another pack. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Allergies, lead cast, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. I'm gonna go from those colors to me, blend it out. I want to thank Glam and Gore because she's the one that I learned this technique from. Follow her on YouTube and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Do not follow her now. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do, go get my. Ah. I looked at my brushes and realized there were two key brushes I was missing. So I'm gonna. So I'm thinking the next, hmm, I'm trying to look at all these dang colors and like think. I don't want to use too much of the Vita palette just because of like the whole look I'm going for. So I think the majority from here on out will be from the Muerta, Muerta, Muerte. I cannot talk today, Jesus. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go into the shade Sangre, which is this like mid-tone red between Corazon and Belo Rio. So, let's just go into that. I'm gonna start like putting it in my crease a little bit. And then I will put Velo Rio on my outer corner. Ooh. Wow, these eyeshadows are so nice. Like, honestly, they just blend so nicely. They're. I'm. I love these. I'm loving these so far. <coughs> Boy, Tanama. And honestly, y'all, what I like about doing this whole like gradient blend, like this whole specific technique, is that it helps like ease it helps the gradient and that way you know you just have that nice transition oh and before i forget this was a real techniques base shadow brush i obviously do not use it for that but whatever anyway this is a dense packing brush that is from star it makers i don't know i got this brush off of amazon like sometime last year and i don't remember what it's called or maybe this was two years i don't know i've had it for a while that's all that is important i guess and I'm going to go into the shade Belo Rio. I don't know what that means in English. I've never heard this word. That might be like the male version of the sugar skull. I don't want to give you guys more information, but once I figure it out, I will let y'all know. Let y'all know. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner. so hard to just like not put the mirror in front of your face. I'm not going with the whole sunset aesthetic anymore. I'm doing something different, but that's fine. Sometimes your plan just changed. And the next thing I am going to do is go into the shade Kalaka. Never heard this word in my life, but okay. Into the shade Kalaka. I could be pronouncing that wrong. My Spanish, honestly, y'all, is not perfect. I'm just going to say that. It is not perfect. Couldn't be further from perfect, but anyway. I'm just going to put this on straight up with my finger and I'm going to put it on the inner half of my lid. Oh, wow, okay. Like, dang. I just made a mess, y'all. I legit just made a mess. Wow. 
wow. Okay, so this is like a champagne-y kind of color, I guess. Like a very nice iridescent color. And honestly, what I've noticed with shimmery shadows, they are very hit or miss, which is why I personally don't use them that much. But melt shimmer shadows are honestly like super pigmented. That I even have one, which you will see in a little bit from the She's in Party stack, that I use as a highlighter sometimes. Especially whenever I travel, because you know what? Ain't nobody got time to be lugging around a bunch of stuff. And I'm looking at my eyes. I was going to smoke out my lower lash line a little bit, but because of the red lipstick, I think I'm just going to put mascara. And I'm also, actually, you know what? Let me see what color there is here so I can add it to it. I think I'm going to wet Calaca otra vez. Not otra vez. I'm going to wet it and use this like little bitty bulleted elf brush that I've had for a million years now. And tap it off the excess and put it in my actual inner corner to brighten up my eyes. Because uh, your girl don't get any sleep. I don't sleep like, at all. I'm lucky if I get a decent night's sleep anymore. Now pop it in first dry, because I honestly don't think that this bad one needs to be wet. And then I will wet it maybe just like whatever's left on the actual brush with my MAC Fix Plus, which is the cucumber scented one. And just a disclaimer, I did not pay full price for this. Ulta had this thing where it was the 21 Days of Beauty and they had it on clearance for like buy one, get one 50% off. So I took advantage of that. Oh, y'all, look at this. It intensified the eyeshadow. Hello. I'm gonna wipe down this towel and wipe my finger off because I don't want to dirty my shirt later. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything out completely. And then the next part I'm going to do is apply just a little, little bit of my eyeliner. And eyeliner. Well, eyeliners, I should say, that I will be using are my, if I can get them out, the, whoop, sorry, the NYX Epic Ink Liner in Black. This is honestly the close, a close second for me for the Kat Von D, or Kat Von D, Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner. I love this. It's only $8 at Ulta or wherever they carry NYX products. Big difference versus $21. Just saying, I love it. The brush is so nice. You just gotta shake it up a little bit. And now I am going to just do not really like a full like cat eye wing. I call them baby wings or demi wings because they're kind of like a taper. It's not really like the. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm just gonna pop that on my highlighter. So I did that. This is kind of what I meant by like demi wing. You can tell that it has like a slight angle, but it's not like all the way over here. So I'm going to try this. This is going to start. I'm trying to keep my mirror out of my face. Honestly, that's very hard. So I give props to people who have like a better setup than I do. I don't have that luxury. And I'm just going to tight light my upper waterline a little bit. So, ah. I will be putting on eyelashes in a little bit. And first things first, I'm going to use my Bad Gal Bang Benefit Mascara. This also was partially Christmas gift to me from my mom. It came in like a little set from Ulta. So, yeah. I tend to not buy high-end makeup unless I know I really do like that product. So I'm just gonna coat my lashes. I don't even like really curl my eyelashes, my natural lashes, whenever I put on flake eyelashes because I just feel like they get in the way afterwards. Coat them, get them nice and dark and no. You can see from the top of my head, my lashes are actually not very light. It's just that with foundation and everything afterwards, to me at least, they become so light. Ah! They got stuck. And in the meantime, I'm gonna let these dry a little bit and then I will continue the rest of my 
base and basically all that means is I'm going to use my Milani bronzer my true this bronzer is in the shade number two sunkissed the L'Oreal true match blush which is in this mauve color it says cool and it is baby blossom that's the name of the blush and then this was the melt eyeshadow from the she's in party stack that i was talking about and it is called skeleton kiss how appropriate so i'm gonna just go ahead and do that and then contour my nose too and yes i did sniff my bronzer it's just that well i feel like sometimes i do have like a slight like a slight slight scent to it Sorry, I don't have to watch me get up so much for this. I'm, I'm so new to this, I will get better with time, but I honestly don't even know if I'll do this consistently enough to fully do this full time. I do plan on finding a job very, very soon. But yeah. It's my contour. Then I will show you all my eyelashes in a minute that I will be wearing. Where did my brush go? There it is. This is, yeah, I've had pan on this because I use it a lot. I use it when I travel, and I sometimes just want a nice highlighter. And honestly, y'all, I sometimes wish that using highlight as, I mean, the eyeshadow as highlight was a more regular thing, you know, especially whenever you're in a pinch. If you're like me and you don't like lugging around 10 million things, even though you don't know what you do, it just helps. It adds. It, it it makes it easier. So much easier. I did do a highlight underneath, like all of my face makeup, like my foundation and stuff. Actually, for this look, from what I'm seeing, I don't know how it reads on camera because I don't have a monitor. I'm relying on my mirror on my dresser to look at this. I need a tripod, but you know. That takes time, so I'm going to go back into the shade Galaka and put just a tiny amount, I'm not even going to wet the brush, just to pop it out somewhere in my highlight. I'm going to add just a little bit more on certain parts of my face. Yeah, that works. Okay, so then the next part that I'm going to do is my blush. Like I said, it's a true match blush. A lot of people like to use very pink blushes. I personally do not because of my skin tone. Pinks tend to look very, very pink on me. Or the peaches tend to look more orange and they actually do peach. So I use more like the mauve kind of colors. I just put that on the apples on my cheeks. And yes, I know I have not done my eyelashes in it, just bear with me. So I'm going to spray my face. I'm going to fan myself. I just got some of that spray in my mouth. And in the meantime, these are the Ardell 105 Lashes in Black. And they are so... I like Ardell. There is another brand that I like that um, is called Tracy Cosmetics. I actually have a discount going with them. So I will link it in the description box if you want to check theirs out. But Ardell honestly has a very nice range, which I really like. And they're fairly inexpensive. Again, expensive, pricing, very subjective. Something we all seem to forget. And I'm going to use my dual lash glue. I can get it open. And just put a little, little bit on the band. And if I'm not going into anything too, like, in-depth, I apologize. I will do videos for each thing, like eyelashes, my eyebrows, my eyeliner, things like that. You know, basically the beauty basics when it comes to makeup. I will do those later on. I just wanted to intro with this so y'all can also wait. I want it to be something fun, something very relaxed for my first video. And this was the way to do it. Ah! Okay, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do this very quickly. I'll probably do this off camera so my camera doesn't overheat, but yeah, so we're going to pause and we're back. Okay, 
So, did my eyelashes off camera. Oh god, my allergies are so bad. Anyway, so I am going to use the shade Unicorn Blood from the Jeffree Star Morphe. Yeah, Unicorn Blood. Again, did not buy this as a gift. At me. And I'm just gonna use this. It's actually very pretty color. I'm just using it on my lips. actually very nice. It feels very, very nice. So, when y'all see me again, I will go ahead and change and style the shirt the way I intend it, and then I will show you all the final look and give you all my final thoughts on everything. So, I really like the way that this actually, this whole outfit like came through. I have a skirt that I got from Kohl's last December, the Ronin Precious Metals t-shirt with the moon and the stars and the back and the quote and the logo in the front, these netted like fishnet lacy tights from DD's Discount, which is a store I used to work for and I don't work there anymore. They do carry these seasonally, so you just may want to look. Sometimes they do have them like in the summertime. It's just a hit or miss. Same thing with the boots. They are both like three years old now. So the chances of you guys actually finding these may be a little bit slim, but just something to keep in mind. The jewelry was gifted to me, so I don't know where they were from, but yeah. So all in all, I am very, very happy with everything that I got. The shirt, I will say, is kind of long. It is oversized in this, like lengthwise, not necessarily widthwise. It's pretty cinched in and pretty fitted for me, at least. It could also be because I bought it in a size down than what I normally wear. But I think it is a relatively good size because I do have like some gif and I just bunch it up so I can wear it with the skirt. And the other thing to keep in mind too is just because it's not oversized on me completely doesn't mean it will fit, not fit you the same way. And I think with a little bit of wear time you will feel more comfortable in it. That's what I'm realizing with mine. So yeah. Anyway. My whole thought process is I wanted to play up the whole like girly but kind of grungy. I, I, it's basically I just wanted to play up my aesthetic a little bit and I feel like the shirt really helps tie that in. So yeah. And also as far as the lipstick, I have to admit it wasn't until I thought about it right now that I realized I still had it on. I've only been wearing this for a few minutes but I will have to admit even though like I said in the beginning, I personally do not sponsor. Jeffree Star, I don't give him my money, I don't buy his products for personal reasons that I really do not feel comfortable getting into right now. The products that I have with me were gifted to me by a family member for Christmas and graduation. So I figured I would go ahead and use them. And this lipstick is actually very lightweight and it was very pigmented. pigmented. So yeah. A few things I wanted to say thank you to Ronin and Pete Wentz for this inclusive line, this inclusive jewelry line, this inclusive clothing line. It is so unique to me and maybe I'm a little bit biased because I love Fall Boy and Pete Wentz is the basis of Fall Boy. But just the same, I am so thankful to find something that I can truly say I'm very, very comfortable in. This is something that I would, that if I could, I would purchase it again, maybe in a different size. Just saying thank you to Melt Cosmetics for making a collection, even though you are a Mexican-American-owned brand. Thank you for making a line that is just so representative of our culture and just aesthetically... Thank you for taking the time in your branding, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And thank you to all of you guys for watching my weird and my rambling and all of the other crazy that you will never really see on my Instagram because I'm not on there all the time. Anyway. Oh, that reminds me, Instagram. So Jill, aka Goldex Plated on Instagram is doing a lookbook for Ronin. So if you are a watcher or a viewer, 
and you have a piece of the Ronin jewelry or the shirt, the hoodie, anything Ronin, please take the minimum to send us two pictures. I think if you send more, you have to like work that out with her. I will link all the details down below. You can send it through Twitter, through Instagram. The deadline is March 15th. So if you participate in it, just, just try. You never know until you try is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see y'all next time. Adios. Bye.